Stacy and Nicole, motivating you 360 degrees, real talk in a real world. That's Stacy and that's Nicole, and we're motivating, motivating you 360 degrees. degrees. Today's topic is social media. So we've come up with a social media smarty and a dumbass. Uh, we're going to do awards. And uh, quite frankly, people need to be coached. We coach people on a lot of things, including their social media. So we figured, hey, we're going to have some fun with this and teach you guys how to market and brand yourself with social media. And, you know, again, not everybody may want to do it our way, but it's definitely worked for us and for plenty of our clients. Right. So I'm going to let her take the ball. There's definitely a right way and a wrong way to create a positive social media presence. And I think that, you know, 75% of people that post things on the internet or, or Facebook, they want people to like it, right? They of course. Want, you know, and I think a Let's lot of people are post. trying to be inspiring and they're trying to motivate other people and share a little bit of themselves. But it a lot of it comes across with, and, I, and I'm happy that people are proud of themselves but a lot of it comes up really, yeah very arrogant and it just really ends up being a fail to be quite honest so each one of our shows that we do oh, look at me it's a huge competition I'm sorry <laughs> right, it, exactly I mean there's tons of stuff but <clears throat> each one of our shows that we do like this social media um, etiquette piece here is really gonna lend itself to us kind of talking about it every time so we do our snick tip and we're also gonna do uh, reward, if you will, the social media smarty, and we will say who they are, and we're just going to talk about the dumbass. dumbass. We're not going to call them out. We won't call we'll them out. examples. Like, but, yeah, don't, don't we all know them. We all know the dumbasses out there. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, really, I mean, there's so much of it that it really just, I like die a little bit inside every time I, I read these things, and it, it just, it's ridiculous. Just nonsense. So, we, you know, are going to talk about two things, two posts that we saw today, this morning, and I'm going to talk about the, uh, the dumbass move first, because I think it's kind of funny. So this past weekend, there was a lot of people that competed in fitness figure There's bodybuilding. There's, I mean, every There's weekend, always. always. So everybody posts, <laughs> everybody posts all kinds of stuff, and so this is, um, so you know, loser our, this is our, this is our, uh, social media dumbass for, um, the week. And she says, apparently, skinny with no muscle was what the judges were looking for last night. I clearly was the most muscular. Um, not just skinny woman. They placed me in fourth. So what she's saying is that everyone that beat her was really shitty, which means she was shittier. If she would just say, the people that beat me were fantastic, I have room to grow, I'm getting judges' feedback, then she would be just a little less fantastic. But now, she just made herself look yeah. not only like a dumbass, Shit, yeah. but a whole lot shittier. <laughs> so, that's, yeah, that's, I love this topic. So if anybody's competing, <laughs> you and I both know it's a subjective sport. You know, there's plenty of times. You're not always going to win. Yeah, you're not always going to win. <laughs> None of us are. And there's going to be plenty of people that beat you that you think, well, my ass looks better, my abs look better, my hair and makeup look better. You know, a guy, even from a guy's standpoint, yeah. too, you're always going to be, be like that. But you know what? Whether you're on stage, and trust me, I have seen third place trophies get handed out and these people are turning up their nose. And there's five trophies given out. And there's people that would die to have that place. One of the five. Yeah. So, I mean, now it's like not only are you seeing sore losers on stage, you're seeing sore losers all over Facebook. And it's, it, it really is kind of embarrassing. And it just makes, it makes you look like a dumbass. Well, and I don't understand how this person doesn't think that she looks like a dumbass. Like, when they post things like that, do they not realize how stupid no, they look? No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> and, well, okay. And, and then there's a whole other topic about the hashtags. She loves them, and she'll make sure she's got all 30. But you know what? They're relevant. As much as I think that there's probably, you know, maybe a too, too many fat hashtags, but they are all relevant. And that's something that coming. we could talk about probably forever and ever and ever. But if you're going to use them... Make sure you're using them for a right reason, and maybe research what they mean. And um, can I just talk about that hashtag no filter thing real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I love this one. So if you're like 20-something years old, and you take a picture of yourself like before you go out at night, and you're all like glammed up, and you put hashtag no filter, what does that even mean? That you are proud of the fact that you don't have a filter? Well, I hope not. You're like 20-something years old. You better not need a filter. If you need a filter, 
filter. Stop taking so many damn selfies of yourself. Now, I am almost 43. If I get up in the morning and it's like 6 a.m. and I'm like, I want to take a selfie. Oh, I look fantastic. No filter. Okay, there's some relevancy there because I'm almost 43. If you're 23, we always need filters. If you are 23 and you're bragging about the fact that you don't have a filter on your Instagram picture, it's like saying you have no wrinkles. I mean, come on, let's hope not. Okay, off of the bandwagon on that. Um, the smarty of the week is actually this young guy um, named Patrick Ryan. And he is an uh, up-and-coming comedian that I follow on Facebook, and he's really funny. And he just has got some Second City gigs, and I think he's going to be doing something on Comedy Central. And his post was about his really great night last night, being in a room full of people that were really positive. And he really just went on to promote them and how great they were. And what I loved about it was it was, it was very little about himself. But... At the end of the day, it made him look good, awesome, yeah. like a total social media smarty. Because all these people that he was with, you know, they know that he's pumping them up and and talking about them. And it, you got to give back, man. You can't just take and take. Yeah, unfortunately, in today's society, especially the twenty somethings, thirty somethings, and even there are some of those forty and fifty somethings that I see out there online. That it's all about them, and it's you know trying to prove whatever, and post this and post that. And they're and proud of themselves. And, you know, it's, it's oh. always bragging about them. And hey, you know what? I won this, and I'm a pro, or I just you know got this trophy. I'm what, what do I get? Today. You know, I want this sponsorship. Well, you know what? It. No matter, it doesn't really matter if you know you're in the in the competition world or not. You're you're in this world, and social media is a huge part of this world, and this can overlap into any any industry. And, you know, I've worked in several different um, industries, the fashion industry, the, fit, the uh, fashion industry outside of the fitness industry. And so, you know, you can, you can, like she was saying, give back. It's like everybody thinks like, well, what's in it for me? Well, you know what? The biggest tip to, for success is, you know, and again, we're not going to cover all that right now, but a lot of it is giving back and showing people, you know, what you can offer them. Being humble. And being, yeah, being humble. Grateful. I mean, here People need lessons on humility. I mean, they really do. Generosity. And so, um, again, remember, if you're on social media, are you taking the time to answer all of your fa your followers? Your, you know, I mean, a lot fans. of people. I know that's one thing on on my page. You know, a lot of people say, "Well, gosh, Nicole, you're one of the few that that responds to me." And I'm like, "Oh, you know." And again, I will respond to people unless they're just a complete douchebag. I'm not going to respond to them. There's a lot of them. There's out there. a lot of social media douchebags. Are you one of them? I hope not, because mm -hmm. douchebags, not you. <laughs> But I'm I mean, if you're so. gonna post, if you're gonna take pictures of your ass in a thong and post on Instagram every Expect time, to get that you're gonna get attention. that. So don't Expect get all to. like, oh my god, why are you saying that you want? Why am I getting all these messages? You know, have sex with me. Well, if yeah. all of your pictures are of your ass, I mean, who do you think's gonna be talking to you, right? Yeah. No, I, I completely and totally, um, kind of, you know, you can control your page. You know, for a while, of course, sex sells. Of course, and who doesn't want to see a good-looking body, a fit body? That's motivation. Yeah, totally get it. But again, there's there's Rain smart ways. In. You know, PG thirteen or versus R or like X. You know, yeah. like triple yeah. X. Some of the stuff we see out there. So again, it's just being smart. You, fit, you work sexy, with a lot of these people. You work hard. You want to show got, those you know, things. That's good. You're that's looking good. for sponsorship. You're looking for business yeah. opportunities. I've gotten a lot of legit business opportunities. I got my book from social media, mm -hmm. and you know what? based on how I marketed myself. And so like with my fan page before, you know, yeah, of course, I'm an IFBB bikini pro, so I'm, I'm always posting pictures, you know, in bikinis and, and all that stuff with other women too. But now, you know, my page for quite some time, I've set the standard, I've set the bar, because for a while I was getting a lot of those douchebags making these like... And you were just, attracting you know, that. Attra you attract what you put out. What you put so out. So I, I cleaned up my page and made sure my, my page has a good variety, you know, for example. And I'm not saying that, okay, I'm this, you know, awesome smarty, but you know what? Yeah, it's worked for me, and it's gotten me a lot of legitimate jobs, and, and you know, it's been And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being sexy. And in, in our intro to our Everybody show, we've got sexy. pictures of us in a bikini, <laughs> And the reason is, is because we're pretty proud of the fact that we can put on a bikini and look good and we're over 40. And I've had a couple of kids and, you know, it, it's good. Be proud of what you've accomplished.
be proud of, of the body that you've worked hard for, whatever it is, if you're wearing, you know, whatever you're wearing. It's just at the end of the day, and here's but our snick tip, though. Think twice. Are you ready for the yeah, snick tip? Okay. Twice, the, snick, the snick tip is, as you're involved with social media, That's that the snick, the snick tip is that there's a fine line between, be, between being proud of yourself and being an ass. Yeah. So, that's Nicole. The ass or the fine line? No, we're saying goodbye. <laughs> that's Nicole. Okay, I'm Nicole. That's Stacey. See you next week. <laughs>